Believe it or not, emails are integral part of our life and sometimes boring too. So to keep the game on, these are the best email clients that would help you work in much efficient way. This is a collaboration video with my friend VM Sultan. Definitely check out his channel, links in the description. With that being said, let's get started. So the first app on the list we have mail.ru. The setting up is pretty straightforward. Just select the provider, type email and password and once it loads up, just see this. The UI. A simple minimal UI, right? With all the icons shown in a neat manner to identify the mail sender easily. Which makes our job easier to find the mail that we are looking for on daily basis. Anyway, to get access to the more options and sections, you are just away from a swipe from the left. And swipe again if you want to add more accounts into this app. And also there is a little bit more option to play around. Next in our list is my mail. This app has one of the best UI I've ever seen in any of the email client. Again this app is clean with bunch full of features like print protection, open links in browser and many more. Though this app is free from advertisements but it was showing some app suggestions which particularly didn't bother me but I thought of mentioning it. Overall this is a really nice app you can rely on. Definitely have a look, links in the description. Next on the list we have Blue Mail with more interactive and curved user interface. So while we set up the Blue Mail, at first itself it does ask which and what type of messages should need to get notified and we can set it from here itself. Even before getting started with the app which is great. And once we get inside, again you can see that icons showing up on each message with more vibrant color to make the eye to catch it easily. So other than that, there is a small tiny icon at the top, which I really like this option. That which is used to show the mail sent by the peoples only. That is when we switch on that tiny icon, then it only shows the mail which is sent by the peoples and not by any robots. And other than that, in case of the UI look, it do include a dark mode that you can turn on and off according to your need. And I think the dark theme looks more clean and neat. The only drawback about this mail is that at some times, I do feel lags here and there while navigating through my old mails. Anyway, just give it a try and see if you love it. Next on the list, we have Newton Mail, which can be one of the best mail clients and that which stands out from all these clients because of unique features they offer. Talking about the features, Newton do offers a read receipt, which means it shows whether the message has read by the receiver or not, but only if you send the mail by using the same app itself, that is the Newton. So other than that, there is also an option to schedule the time for mail. And when the time run out, it automatically gets sent. Which is too convenient when we tend to send our mail to other countries. Oh by the way, even you can take back these messages that you have sent once and it will permanently get deleted from the receiver as well. Which is really really awesome feature. And all these features wrapped with a minimum and simple design made it to become one of the best email client that you can ever think of. Yeah, it's true that you need to pay a $4 or around 200 Indian rupees per month. But before that, you can have a 14 day trial and then decide yourself is it worth buying or not. Last but not least, we have Outlook. Yep, Outlook from Microsoft. We thought, why not add this? We can break the traditional saga of using Gmail on Android. Well, you can add as many email as you want in this app too. Of course, this app comes with a lot of handy features. You can filter your emails from other mailing lists, use calendars, see contacts, and even you can schedule your email, which is awesome. So why not break the saga? Have a look at this app, you will like it for sure. Links in the description. So what do you guys think about this app we featured and what would you go with? Let us know in the comment section below. So yeah, that's been it. Hope you enjoyed watching and if you found this useful, definitely give this video a like and share. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe as more awesome contents are on its way. This has been Atish from Tech Dipper, signing off. Thanks for watching.